everybody how's it going Jake here gonna do a tutorial on let's all help the cowboy sing the blues and uh, this is the Coulter wall version it was written by cowboy Jack Clement and also recorded by Chris Ledoux and Waylon Jennings to name a few and yeah it's a cool cool song got to play a little harmonica on it uh, we, we recorded this remotely um, so I think Coulter did his stuff in Montana. I want to say a studio in Montana that I'm not sure which one. Um, and then me and uh, Pat filled it out from uh, our respective homes. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed playing on this. I like the I like the song. And uh, thank you to whoever requested that. I always enjoy hearing uh, what what y'all want to learn. Uh, from the Coulter catalog. Um, yeah, anyways, this is on a D country tuned harmonica. And we'll just try to go through this real quick. Um, so I come in on the third verse of the recording. Oh, yeah, and then this uh, backtrack, this came out on a uh, A side, B side release, and uh, the other side's the uh, Cypress Hills, which is an awesome, awesome tune as well. And they're available on a, a seven-inch uh, vinyl, uh, which is kind of cool too. Uh, but anyways, let's just uh, get right into this. So we're on a D country-tuned harmonica. So that note, the second-to-last note I hit there, is raised a half step on a country-tuned harmonica. So the five draw on a D harmonica, instead of being G, it's actually G sharp. which uh, is, makes it a lot easier to get the uh, overblows, uh, or I'm sorry, to get the that note without overblowing, but it also allows you to play the five chord in cross harp. So we have one, your one chord would be the two, three, four draw. Your four chord would be the four, five, six blow. And your five chord would be four, five, six draw. So that's one reason I really love it. Now on the recording, I think because uh, I was able to do multiple takes, I think I did one uh, where I was using a. Uh, let's see, what would it be? I was using a. Uh, <clears throat> an A harp to get that E chord and the uh, and I might have been using a G harp to get the D chord <laughs> so because it was I was trying to get the chords lower so they'd be a little more out of the way of the vocals but when I'm playing it live it's really convenient to just have all those chords right here on this this harp okay let's uh, let's jump right in this tune so it comes in on B3 and there's a unison, unison thing played uh, along with Coulter and I think the mandolin might be doing it on the recording. Uh, but that lick is basically, it starts off that one draw, two blow, two draw, three blow. Now I really think on the guitar, Coulter is going. So uh, that, <clears throat> I, but uh, on the harmonica, it's just so much easier to hit that uh, two, three draw, two draw, three blow. And then, you know, you come in on the next note with them, so. so. When you have to double tap that bend to scoop that three draw, it sounds a little funky. Um, so I think it worked out better just doing it um, two draw, three blow, instead of going three blow, three draw bend, scoop three draw. Yeah, so after uh, that little bun on it, it goes three draw. And you kind of lay some vibrato on there. Okay, and then a uh, four draw. A little more throat vibrato. And then a three draw, four blow, three draw. And uh, I like to uh, kind of cut those, clip those four blow and three draw. Okay, and then a 
just a little flippy three draw bend, three draw, three draw bend to the two draw bend, three draw bend, two draw. Okay, so that's a little tricky. Um, <laughs> and yeah, when, so when they sent me the tune, everything was on there except uh, except my harmonica. So I was. Uh, it did take me a minute to to match up that lick there. So <laughs> don't worry if it's a little tricky at first. Okay, and uh, let's let's play that. Uh, okay, and then well after that, it's, there's a little rest, and it goes one draw, one draw, two blow, two draw. Okay, and uh, but we'll we'll get to that. That's sort of a lead into the verse. Let's go ahead and play this opening lick together slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two. That's the opening lick, and uh, then it just then there's some fills. We'll just go through these real quick. Uh, you can listen along to the recording and and uh, try to play along with it if you want. Uh, so I start off just a real gentle, long notes, just sort of announcing the harp as the fill instrument, I guess. Okay, so that's easy. One draw, one draw, two blow, two draw. Okay, and then there's some vocals for the rest, the rest of that measure and the next measure. Okay, and then uh, next time I come in is B2 of measure 8. Okay, so that's, uh, uh, yeah, again, just trying to play simple, not overdo it. This is a real chill song, so. Um, so yeah, that was just walking down, and that's going, uh, there's, so that's going to the B7 chord, which is the major 2 chord in A, so um, that 2 blow is a good note to land on, because it's the 5th of that chord. Uh, so yeah, I like that little walk down, 2 draw, 2 draw half step bend, 2 blow, and there's, Plenty of songs, uh, country songs especially, that uh, are, you know, like old school country songs that go to that major too. Um, so this is a pretty, that I probably overdo that little walk down there, but it works. Uh, okay. Going into measure 12. Okay, so that's one draw, two blow, three blow. And then there's a half note triplet, four draw, four blow, three draw, and then back to four draw. Okay, so that, uh, yeah, so I didn't, yeah, I've, I've tabbed this out retrospectively. Uh, so this was just, I did a couple takes of sort of feeling the fills. Um, just trying to follow along with his vocals, and I think they did kind of take the best of two different takes on this one. So yeah, I don't know where that half note triplet thing came from, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and then when, there's a couple more of them on the next two fills. So measure 16 starts off with that half note triplet, six blow, five blow, four draw, and then a three draw. Okay, and then it's going to be another half note triplet, but it's going to go. So it's actually four notes in that triplet because you're going to do on that two draw, you hit it and then tongue it. Okay, and then it's going to scoop the three draw right after that. So scoop up to the three draw and then a quick three draw bend, but you just fall right off to the two draw. Okay, and then uh, you do tap the two draw again. So those two measures, they're going to be... Okay. So 
So now we're up to measure 20, and uh, this is the lyric goes, let's all help the cowboy sing the blues. So I uh, did something a little bluesier here. Um, so there's two big nasty as you can make them scoops on the four draw. It's definitely bending that flat of the uh, of that uh, E of that E note if you can. Or is that E? Yeah. Bending that E flat even flat of E flat. <laughs> and then uh, it's gonna be a four draw, four draw bend, three draw triplet. Okay, and you're actually scooping that uh, that third, that first note of the triplet, that four draw. Scoop into that too. Okay, and then four blow, three draw, half step. Okay, and then it's uh, to the two draw there. So measure twenty again. And then it hits that two draw twice. Okay, and then that uh, similar walk down uh, as we saw back in measure nine, but uh, instead of stopping on that two blow, it goes all the way down to the one draw, which is the root of the five chord, and that's getting us into the chorus there. So, but yeah, let's take uh, all those fills. Uh, or let's just take this whole verse together and we'll try to do it with a metronome play it a little bit slower Now let's try it at 90 beats per minute comes in on beat three so two three four one two Okay, so that uh, that gets us into the chorus and also through the first page of the uh, tab, if you're, which is in the description below, the link to it. Okay, and then it gets into a little bit of a chucking thing. Um, so remember on the recording I used multiple harps, uh, so the chords are going to sound a little lower. But on the, I think maybe on the first chorus I did just chuck on the D country tune. I'm not sure though, but... So the chucking pattern is So that was on the D chord 4 5 6 below Okay and goes T yuck T yuck and those are the first two chucks there Okay and then it's basically um, on beat 4 of the measure it's a triplet So you go tuck a tuck. Uh, but I think on the recording I was kind of ghosting the middle note of the uh, triplet. Now when we do it live, a lot of times I'll just lay in that full triplet. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a little more uh, out of the way. I think if you just do the uh, leave out that middle note of the triplet. So. So that's an example of that chucking pattern, and that's that pattern is going to stay the same, but we're going to be switching to the different chords. So, so the first time I come in on the recording is on that D chord, and that's four, five, six blow. And the next up is the A chord, which is uh, which is our second position home chord, and that's two, three, four draw. Okay. 
So again, that same pattern. And then it only does that for one measure, then it goes back to E for two measures. Now our E chord, or the five chord, is four, five, six, draw. Okay. Um, yeah, and, uh, and yeah, so it does that for two measures on E, then D, then A. So let's go ahead and try to play from uh, measure 24 up to measure 30. So one, two, three. Yeah, I screwed up. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the chucking part there. Okay, and then there's this little lick here on measure 30. Measure 30, uh, 32 to 34 would be one, two. Okay, so and that's that's the lick on the uh, in verse three. Now on verse uh, on the first chorus, or on so, I'm sorry, on the second chorus, that's the lick. The first chorus, I match what Coulter's doing on the guitar. Something like that, which is three blow, three jaw hole step in, four blow, and then it goes three jaw hole step in, four blow. And then it's going to scoop the half step in to three draw, and then bend down to the whole step in, two draw, two blow, two draw. the second chorus okay um, and then the 36 measure 36 to the end of the song is uh, just holding out long notes and uh, laying on the hand vibrato very pretty thick the song. Now if you're working on getting that hand vibrato technique down, uh, you want to make sure you have your grip set up so you want a little bit of your fingers hanging over the back to help you make this little chamber with your hands. Okay. Um, and then I like to kind of interlock the base of my palms. And then you'll see how the, the my right hand's kind of following along here. And I close it up in the back. Okay, and then I'm really feeling the uh, the wall happen uh, kind of in this part of my right hand. Actually, maybe a little bit more between the pinky and the uh, and the ring finger. That's the, the hand vibrato technique if you haven't learned that one yet. Uh, yeah, but you got to have your hands set up right to, to really get the wall to come out right. So, but yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, Let's All Help the Cowboys Sing the Blues. Um, thanks for checking out my channel. Like the video, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more. Um, yeah, and I do have a Patreon, and uh, if you want to support me in making these tutorials and tabs and stuff, go over there and drop me a, drop me a subscription on there. And until next time, keep on